Who? What's up, peoples? This is Brandon here. In this tutorial, we will walk through using the polymodular system to create a mono synth. We start by creating a combinator. Right click and choose Combinator from the Utilities menu. We will create the synth components inside the combinator. Hold Shift while creating all the components so that they don't auto route to each other. First, create a VO1 Viking Oscillator as the oscillator. Then a Movement Waveform Generator for the filter envelope. An F16 for the filter. Another movement for the amp envelope. And finally, a Mark 8 as the amplifier. Flip to the back of the rack by pressing Tab. Now we can connect up the devices. First, we'll do the audio routing. The mono output from VO1 is connected to the channel 1 left input on F16. The channel 1 left output of the F16 connects to the channel 1 left input of the Mark 8. Hold shift while making that connection. Now the left output from Mark 8 connects to the left from device's input on the combinator. So now you can clearly see the signal path. The oscillator output goes through the filter, into the amplifier, and then to the combinator. Now for the CV connections. We connect the mono CV out from the filter envelope movement into the first envelope input of the filter. Similarly for the amp envelope, we connect the mono output from movement to the first envelope input on mark 8. And that's all it takes to connect up a basic mono synth. Flip back to the front of the rack and you can start tweaking the patch. Don't forget to turn up the envelope amount on the filter so that the envelope affects the cutoff frequency. Now you have the basic structure of a mono synth. You can add another oscillator to create a stereo synth. Hold shift and right click on the first VO1 and create another VO1. Flip to the back of the rack. Connect the mono output of the new VO1 to the channel 1 right input on the filter. Connect the channel 1 right output of the filter to the first right input on the amplifier and connect the right output of the amplifier to the from device's input on the combinator. That's all the needed routing. Flip to the front again. Now if you adjust the settings on the oscillators, you can hear the stereo effect. Now you know how to create a monosynth with the polymodular system. From here, you could add more movement devices as the LFOs for modulation. In the next video, we will learn how to create a polysynth. For more information about the polymodular system, visit www.blamsoft.com.